Hey Raiders, welcome back to another live arena battle video. Starting off around rank 2175. Let's have a trivia question. So who is the only champion in the game with increased speed, increased accuracy, and turn meter boost all in the same skill? Leave your answer in the comments and I'll give the answer tomorrow. This video will feature five fights and five wins. So let's get started. I'll also show a couple of damager builds at the end. So they'll get the first pick and they go Harima. Definitely don't want to see Sifi with Harima, so I go Sifi and Wukong. Wasn't going to do a video today. I actually wasn't even going to do any fights today because I had a minor medical procedure, but I'm feeling better, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some fights in. So we've got a difficult trio here with Harima, Taurus, and Marichka. So this one should be interesting. I feel like maybe with the medical procedure that this group composition I have to face is like they haven't pulled it out yet. I may get my rear handed to me with the Taurus Marichka. So they're going three damagers, so I'm going to go ahead and ban the Marichka. They're going to ban my Warlord, and I feel pretty good on this one. Ragash is really good against everybody in this team. So I'm going to say, even though it was Harima, Taurus, Marichka, the benefit goes to me, the, the advantage goes to me. It's just I've got Ragash. But who knows? And that, that Kandrophon is in stone skin, so there's a limit to how hard he's going to hit. You can have a hard-hitting Kandrophon. I'm going to go ahead and take out this Harima so she doesn't do too much damage. Rather, reduce my defense, things like that. Sleep the Taurus, love to do that. Take out the uh, Harima again. Now let's see what Kandrophon can do. Little slap, just a love tap. That's what a stone skin Kandrophon does best. He might have been better suited to just self buff. Just gonna waste some hits against Pythion. Protect my Seafy because Taurus was gonna drop the hammer. He dropped it and he didn't he did some okay damage. But it looks like that Pythion is not very tanky and he's gone. And he left the battle. So one fight, one win. Lower team power, or lower account power than mine, so par for the course. On to the next one, and this one is under 2800, so hasn't been in gold one for very long, or hasn't been climbing gold one for very long. Goes with Arbiter first, so and I'm wary of bombs. Go with my Warlord and my Wukong. What I'm trying to do to defend against bombs there on that first pick is Warlord, Maybe faster than their second champion, so he can put them on cooldown. Wukong can come back if I have someone survive, but it looks like they're not going bombs. But now I gotta worry about that Baron. Probably ban the Kaimar, although lately I've been having a lot of good luck when I see Arbiter Kaimar and I ban the Arbiter. Because then, if they don't ban my Warlord, but in this case, unless I go Sifi, they will definitely ban my Warlord. I go Sifi. We'll see who they ban. They have the guaranteed freeze with Yakarl. And I ban the Kaimar. They ban the Sifi. Had I banned the Arbiter, it would have looked like a couple of battles that I had recently where my Warlord's faster than their Kaimar. It could have looked that way, but I'll never know because I banned Kaimar. Put him on cooldown because I cut. Steal the buffs, kill everybody, and he left. That's a, that's a quick two wins. That Very fortunate on that one that I was able to cut. If Yakarl had been tuned, he could have frozen my Warlord. On to the third fight. This one is in mid, gold one. Go Sifi first. No reason for me to go Wukong yet. He picks Wukong. He picks Valkyrie. And that Wukong appears to be a damage one. So already I'm thinking... Ban the Wukong. When you don't ban the Wukong and it's a damaged Wukong, they'll one-shot your whole team. So I pick my three support first, which I don't like to do. I like to have two support and a damager first, but so be it. At least I'll have a good idea of who his second damager is. I'll know if I can put it in a way. And they go Eric's Kandrophon. So I can go a way, and I will go a way. And I'll go Supreme Elhane. 
I'm going Supreme Elhane because she can kill through Valkyrie's shield. See who they go for their final support. So it's strange, like, their two support, Eryx and Valkyrie, are kind of damagers in themselves, or can be. And they go ultimate death knight. So, I mean, they're middle gold one. They have some success with this team, but I don't know. They banned my Seafy. I'm happy with that. I will put them on cooldown unless my Necret buffs trigger Valkyrie and she goes first. I'll still put them on cooldown, but it might not be pretty. I go first, put them on cooldown. Everybody got it. Take out the Candrophon. Go after the Valkyrie. Block Revive doesn't even matter when you ban the Wukong. Valkyrie's gone. Now all I gotta do is deal with that Eryx. Should be able to do that with a Nithway's triple hitter coming up. And here it is, and he's gone. Let's go ahead and just wait for this guy to back out. Waiting, 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 and he's gone. All right, that's a quick three wins. And once again, I count power a little below mine. So, like, you should be facing teams that are account power close to yours. And if you're consistently facing account power below yours, you should be winning more than 50%. And I am, but it's not like it's a great accomplishment. If I can move up into gold two and I'm facing people with account power similar to or lower than mine, I should be winning. And if I'm not, I'm just not as good of a player as they are. But there's no shame in the people with a 10, 11 million account power losing to me. And here they go, George at last, and I have to ban him because I did not pick Goffred. If I had gone my damager before Mithrala, then I wouldn't have picked Mithrala, and I could have gone Goffred. See how this one goes? So they got Sifi, they go first. And they block skills on my Warlord. Bit of luck there, because Hegemon's not 100%, so that's not always going to happen. I'm also not too afraid of Hegemon. And Hefrak could be a heavy hitter. Doesn't do much there, though. I'll go ahead and protect the Warlord. See what happens here. Just do an A1 with Errol. Again, Errol's my main damager, so it's going to be a little hard for him to kill Duchess, but I have faith in the guy. Especially because I have Mithrala to get buffs. Go ahead and buff up with Mithrala. And she sleeps. My Necret. And what's going to happen next? He goes for a swing on my Necret and wakes him up, so I'll go ahead and just kill him with Necret. I mean, word to the wise, if you sleep someone with Sifi, you should probably not wake them up. You might go after somebody else that wouldn't get woken up. Okay, go for the kill on Sifi. She's out. Go for the kill on the other one. And Duchess is locked out, so this one's over. He left the battle. That, I believe, is four fights, four wins. That is a 34 million power account that I just beat. Mine at 15.7. So I do feel good about that. I feel really good about that. Dark Angel 42. It seems like I recognize that name, like I've faced this person before and lost to them. The recognizable names, I probably lost to. If I don't recognize their name and I face them, I probably beat them. Dark Angel 42. Or I might just be remembering Jessica Alba from like 20 years ago. So they go Duchess and Elva. We got a Kaimar and a Rotos. So I'll put in Goffred instead of my Necret. And Errol's good against Rotos. So right now I'm looking at probably banning the Kaimar, thinking about Elva. And look at that, six-star awakened Hefrak. I bet he hits hard. He probably killed me. I've probably died to that Hefrak before. That's a good duo right there, a Rotos and a six-star awakened Hefrak. So they ban my Warlord. I ban their Kaimar. This fight is definitely, to me, the biggest challenge I've had. Elva is always annoying. I'm thinking I can sleep the Elva and that's it, so I decide not to. I buff up. 
I just A1 with the Wukong. Elva's going to go ahead and put up the block debuffs, and she's in protection. So I can't stun with Goffred. Just do a little love tap on Rodos. Go for the kill on Hefrak. I'm just going to go all out on killing their damagers right now. And then see what happens after. They're back. Go ahead and steal buffs, trigger the war or the Rodos. Goes for the kill and gets stunned. I can't stun Duchess or Elva. Go for the kill on Elva and she's gone. Go for the kill on Rodos and she's gone. And Duchess has already used her revive. Go for the kill. All right, five fights, five wins. That was pretty good. Was not expecting that today. So taking a look at my win-loss, 5-0 and today. Yeah, feel really good about that. Looking at who I use the most today, I don't know. I'll show the builds on Inithwe and Supreme Elhane. So Inithwe, you can see he's about 6,800 attack, 237 speed, so he's pretty fast, 250 crit damage. Supreme Elhane, very similar, 6,300 attack, 211 speed, 244 crit damage. So thanks for watching, and take care, everyone.